wordlessly excused each other for not loving each other as much as they had planned to. The bar had been raised far before they met, only to be knocked down moments after their last kiss. Too much pain had been caused, too much destruction left behind. It wasn't meant to be like this. It wasn't meant to feel like the moon had emptied into the pit of their shared stomach, but it had. And instead of waiting for it to be full again, they knew it was better left alone. Because they loved like black ice on a deserted street winding up to the mountains. They were beautiful, but dangerous especially at night, spinning endlessly nowhere and desperately wanting it to never end, but crashes never end, end pretty. Their scars had yet to heal, yet to soften back to the smooth skin with time. They had no time to waste, as they became suffocated with the bits of tar from the asphalt tearing beneath them. No more luxury of throwing words around like poison arrows. No longer worth wishing words could save them. They had silence now. They had roads ahead parting ways, because no one should endure the feeling of sinking in the dreams that pulled out when they collided. One last moment to say what was never said. One more chance to erase past regressions, but they wore each other like band-aids, holding on by the last thread of cotton that got stuck in the scab as the blood dried. It would hurt more this time. That was inevitable. But the thought of the rush from the rip could keep them running for miles. They knew. See, they wore scars like mile markers, and this love would be remembered for a lifetime, lasting only under the cool cocoa butter to soothe it. She wasn't gray like the mixture of black and white. She, she wasn't fuzzy that way. She was the in-between of this, the beyond that brought me in. Her words caught me like a fishing line thrown from a novice fisherman. She had conviction without confidence, an eye for the unseen. And by that, I mean she saw me, read my story with one breath, shared hers with one cough, like a storm was coming and she could feel it in her lungs. She's neither too hard nor too soft, but never gray. That's not her color. Her soul was painted like the inside of a snail shell, like the back of a fingernail, like a canvas that's yet to be stretched. I could tell she tasted like salt water, because the lines on her hands had been cracked from all the sand that slipped through her fingers like an hourglass. I could feel my life ticking away in each syllable she spoke. That's how aware she made me. But never once did I think I should go soon. Because that day, the only time I could keep was her time she had just given me. It's days like that I wonder what color my shell would be if I left it behind. If I discarded the old without thinking of what would come. Maybe nothing new would ever take the place, but when did old become a negative? She was the color of all my yesterdays, but not my tomorrow. You look at me with eyes filled with the drip that's left behind when an icicle melts in the springtime. You have a face that screams, read me a story. Tell me anything as long as it ends with hello. Baby, tell me a story. Say anything, everything, but never the truth. That's how you get me. You get me like aspartame. You fill yourself with my stevia sweetness to hide the aftertaste. You have those eyes laying sideways on worn through pillowcases. I can see the feathers that wake you when you're sleeping. But it's those eyes, those globes of tomorrow land that ask for a story. So I tell one, how do I end it with hello tonight? How do I end it with an entrance when I can read the sign above the doorway? It flashes its bloody letters like a stop sign. How do I stop this? Time is ticking past me, talking at me. I can feel the cuckoo on my shoulder. It wants a part in the story. It wants to squawk away my possibility that tomorrow will never rise with the sun. But I've learned on these beautiful Sundays that the one thing I can count on is the sun. And I can feel her coming. I can feel her bubbling inside me as I speak of towers and dragons and you. 
you with those eyes softly shutting to my music. Darling, I'll always say hello. Till the last Sunday I can breathe in, and sooner or later I'll put down the diet and get real. <laughs> because I can see in your lashes that you treasure the metallic taste of my poison. So tonight, go to sleep. And I'll whisper hello in the morning. <laughs>